Hey guys, my name is Funpuro. If you have played AP Champions, you want to have the most damage possible. In this video, I will review the two damage items of Rabadon's Death Cap and Void Staff to help you decide what item to buy first and when to buy them. Make sure to check out my brand new Discord server with the link in the description. That being said, let's get right into the video. So in order to understand what item does more damage and when, we need to utilize mathematical equations to show the relationship between the many variables. To calculate the damage for Void Staff, I use this equation shown on the screen. It shows the effects of magic penetration and uses this relationship to calculate the final damage using the variables of magic resistance, damage from ability, and ability power. Next, we need to use an equation for Rabadon's Death Cap. Here is the equation for Death Cap that combines the variables of magic resistance, damage from the ability, ability power, and includes the effects of Death Cap, uh, which would increase the, your AP by 35%. So to test these damage values, I'll be using Cho'Gath with a max level Q, which will do 300 plus 100% of your AP. If we were to do a solo Void Staff versus Death Cap comparison without any other items, we can plug them into this inequality and try to find the threshold of magic resistance needed for Void Staff to do more. When I plug all the values in, Void Staff will do more damage when the magic resistance value of the enemy exceeds 87.47 MR in this specific scenario. Now let's add other items to the context. Let's add the items of Everfrost, Plated Steel Caps, and either Void Staff or Death Cap. Everfrost will give 70 AP and will give an additional 10 AP from the Mythic Passive when we buy either Void or Death Cap. We will plug in all our values in the inequality we set to find the threshold of MR needed for Void Staff to do more. We then simplify till we reach a simple inequality that tells us that in order for Void Staff to do more than Death Cap, the target must have a MR value that exceeds 95.06 MR in this specific situation. Another thing that I notice is that when your AP values increase, the MR threshold needed for Void Staff to do more will also increase. So let's put what we learned so far from these situations into some context. Champions base MRs at level 1, without runes, dragons, or anything, range from 25 to 39. At level 18, these base MR values can range from 30.1 to 61.75. Looking at these values, it usually takes 2 to 3 magic resistance items to make Void Staff do more damage. It can take many times uh, Merc Gang I uh, Merc Treads, and in addition to the Merc Treads having two additional magic resistance items. Sometimes it might take one, uh, but just what you can do is look at your enemy in-game and see what they're building and check their MR values. You can also use these equations and inequalities that I provide in this video to test out damage differences on other champions and abilities. You can also apply combos of damage of abilities into these equations. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you would like to see next. I also thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.